All right, so you have an indefinite integral here, the integration of x times sine x, sine of the argument x squared plus 1 square root of all over the square root of x squared plus 1. And if it, and it becomes, this has to use substitution. And the million dollar question is, a lot of times, should you be x squared plus 1 or should you be the square root of x squared plus 1? I want you to realize that you don't know the antiderivative of this. Okay? We don't know that integral. So that really sets what we got to do. U is going to have to be the square root x squared plus 1. All right, and when we take du, we're going to think of it this way, right? We're going to take du, the root of u is 1 du. The root of the other side is half x squared plus 1 to the negative half times 2x dx, the chain rule and the power rule. To help see it, I often would take the two to the half cancel, right? So I would often write out what it looks like. And it looks like this. And when I write all that out, all right, hopefully you're looking back at the original indefinite integral when I moved it around to make it pretty and say, oh, man, now I see it. Because I'm going to circle stuff. We should all see that this is that. We should all see that this is, yeah, this. So, I'll get rid of the circle. Maybe I'll try to get rid of the circles. So, I think this integral simply changes into sine u du. du is going to be equal to all that. It's that integral. And then I think to myself, self, I know derivative of sine is cosine. I know derivative of cosine. So I think it's cosine. Is it positive or negative? And I check the derivative of my head, and I'm pretty sure I better be negative plus c. And the final answer, again, the argument never changes. You guys notice, look at the argument in the trig function. Is it any different for the antiderivative and the derivative? No, they are the same. They never, ever change. Um, pay me, I charge one twenty-five an hour. That's I'll the easiest way to do it. All right, keep practicing indefinite intervals.